So what is happening, guys? Did you just see that? Does your trolling motor do that? Does it go crazy when it's on spot lock? Well, today I'm gonna go over a few settings that is a must if your trolling motor is going crazy. Some of these you've seen, some of these you have not. And these settings will even help holding under a bridge. Not perfect, but much closer. So guys, stay with me and hope you enjoy the video. So hey guys, we'll get right into the video. So we're out on the water today and I'm going to go over four settings that you got to use for your trolling motor. I'm going to go step by step so you'll uh, understand them. So the first setting we're going to do is autopilot mode. We'll make a setting of that. I'll move the camera so you can see that. Here I, that our remote is on, I am actually in spot lock. I'm going to go through all these settings just so you can see them. Mine has already been set, but I'm going to show them to you. So I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to go down and I'm going to hit options. That is this button on the left. I'm going to hit options. The first one that comes up is autopilot mode. When that is highlighted with that black mark, we will click check. You have advanced and you have legacy. You want to change this to legacy. Sign. Then you will click. You will hit legacy. It is black. You'll hit the plus sign and you will close it. Uh, so if you are on a straight line and the wind blows you off, if you're on the advanced setting, the trolling motor will carry you back to that line quicker. Legacy goes a little softer back to that line. It, it just slows the trolling motor down some. As I understand it, it slows it down and it won't be so abrupt to get back. So that's the first setting. So let's go to the second setting now. The second setting we're going to do is we're going to pair our trolling motor with our sensor and calibrate that. Many of you have already done that, but in conjunction with the first setting, this will help. So we're gonna to go to our sensor calibration. So we'll push the down button, we'll click system, and we'll click the check button, sensor cal, and we press start. Start button is on the right, use this dot here, and it says drive boat in two complete circles. Now many of you have already done this calibration on this. You will see, you'll have to go too complete. You'll have a pie shape here. It will get dark as it goes. Right or left, it does not matter. So we'll turn the boat. We're almost finished with the first one. That is the first one is done. You see that there is a one. We're gonna go for the second. And I usually do this fairly quickly, just in case the wind's blowing to keep the boat in the complete circle. Halfway through the second one, here. Okay, so we're finished with the sensor calibration. Now this asks, this is the third setting that we're gonna do. And this is to uh, perform the offset. Now, like I said earlier, the offset is the center of the boat. And this helps the sensor or the trolling motor to know how far off the sensor is and where the center of the boat is. So we'll go back to here. That's the second thing it asks. So you're going to go here. See, it's already here. So he said, okay, so now let's set the offset. Like I said earlier, the keel is the center line of the boat. Trolling motors are mounted differently. You can see that mine is kind of at an angle on the front of the boat. It's actually sitting to the right side of the keel of the boat. And so we're gonna close this out. We're gonna go back to our remote, close it, push down, hit system again, hit system. We're gonna go down one click. It's below sensor calibration if you're looking on your remote. And I hope you can see this without the glare. So this is sensor offset. We're gonna click plus. It says point the motor forward and parallel to the keel, then press set. Okay. So I'm gonna press set as I'm moving forward. And you notice mine is minus three. So now my offset on my trolling motor, 
my trolling motor is offset so it knows where the keel is. So that makes the sensitivity of the spot lock even closer. Got it? Okay, now let's go to, let's go to the boat scale. And we don't really have to run the trolling motor to make this setting. So Back, we have options, we have system. So we're gonna click system. And we're gonna click up here to a boat scale. It is highlighted in black. We're gonna click the plus button that chooses it. Now you see on boat scale, you have, it comes from the factory set at zero. It is set on zero from the factory. Encoda does not know what size or weight that your boat is, so they set it on zero. So it's up to us to set it. You have plus two, plus one, zero. Minus one and minus two. You can see all of them here listed. It's two. You can see all of them here listed. We're going to go to minus two for my boat. If you have an aluminum boat, I suggest minus two. Entirely up to you. Try it. I put mine on minus two, and it's done a great job so far. So we go minus two. We click the plus button. We go up to the right button, and we close it, and now it is set. Boom. Just like that. You're done. Those four settings will really help uh, your spot lock uh, on your boat. So now that we have made those settings, I'm going to set my spot lock and we're going to give it a test. I have a small breeze. As most of you know, the more breeze you have, the better spot lock holds. But on days that it is no wind whatsoever, these spot locks sometimes can go crazy. So let's take a look at it. I'll show it to you right now. I am going to, I am drifting right now. That is spot lock. And we will watch it adjust, just to give you an idea of it being overpowered. It is under power right now. It's going to adjust. Notice that it is not overpowering. It's much slower. See the more sensitivity in the adjustment? Guys, if you're like me, I was frustrated with this Minn Kota. I would get on top of a brush pile and this troll spot lock and this trolling mode would go crazy and scare the fish. But these settings would definitely help you around a lot I have found nobody that puts all four of these settings together I've seen how to calibrate set the kill I've seen the offset I've seen legacy but all of them are separate I hadn't seen all these together but by combining these four together it will make your trolling motor so much more pleasurable when you come to the lake guys I hope you've seen some of this video you enjoyed I hope you've seen something in the video that will help you on your boat if you've been frustrated that's why I do this channel. So guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Hey, it's free. It won't cost you nothing. Guys, I hope you see something in the video that you enjoyed. I hope you've seen something in the video that you learned. You remember, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Don't forget to hit the like button. Click the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And always, you remember, it's a wild life. And I'll see you on the water.